Second workout, we're gonna start with a hip lift. We have a couple different options here, so I'm gonna show them all. And you can also add weight to this, so you can grab your book bag full of books if you need to. So, we're gonna lie down, flex your feet, press your heels in a little to tuck your butt, and kind of gently press that low back into the floor. Exhale, lift your hips, keeping the ribs pulling back towards the floor. Inhale down, exhale, lift. Gently squeeze the knees towards one another as if they're squeezing something, or if you have a yoga block, squeeze one of those. If that is not challenging enough, you have some options where you can scooch over to a chair, elevate your feet, and same thing, tuck your butt a little, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, or raise those shoulders up. Inhale, lower the butt down, keep everything aligned here in your torso, exhale, lift up, inhale, down, exhale, up, and you could also put a weight on your hips there too. Next exercise is a half kneeling angled press. So with your band, you're gonna put your foot on it, maybe even kneel on it. I prefer to just have it behind my foot and not kneel on it so I can have my knee on a cushion or a pad. Come into half kneeling, butt tucked ribs in, hold your band where it feels like a good tautness as your arm goes out straight. So I'm gonna start with my arm close to my body. I'm gonna exhale, press all the way up, inhale back. So I wanna make sure that as I press my arm up, I'm not arching my back here. Exhale, reach, inhale back. And I'm gonna stretch that shoulder long and far, really reach, 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 and then come back to just in front of my rib cage. And that is the angle press for you. Now for the core exercise. We're gonna do a curl up with either toe taps or kick outs. So lying on your back, we're gonna curl up the head and shoulders as one unit using those ab muscles here. Hands go beside the head. Although if your head gets heavy, let the weight of your head be in your hands. Don't pull the head in towards the chest. So we're gonna exhale, stack the knees over the hips first, and then exhale, fusing those abs, curl the head and shoulders up. And then we're gonna inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. You can tap a little bit further away if that feels like the better challenge. And even bringing this all the way out, here's where we'll exhale, kick out, inhale, back in, exhale, kick out, inhale, back in. And that is your curl up with toe taps or kick outs. Second circuit in the second workout, we're gonna start with split squats. So to start with that split squat, start in the half kneeling, we're gonna tuck the butt under, knee just over your shoelace area. I don't have shoelaces on my soft feet, but if you're wearing sneakers, you want that knee just slightly in front of your ankle. And I'm gonna exhale, push through that front leg to lift, inhale, lower. Either tap the floor or not, lose your balance. But inhale, exhale, keep that back knee soft and that butt tucked under and really feel that front leg working. We can also add this as a reverse lunge where we'll inhale, step back and lower, exhale, come up. So your choice there. And again, if you need some weight, wear the backpack, choose your challenge, lower down, come back up, or stay stationary for that split squat. Next exercise is a bent over reverse fly. So use that band, step on it, and we're gonna have that long spine, abs strong here. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, lower. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together to be the reason my arms are lifting. And if for any reason that feels a little too much on the back, we can do it seated. Same thing, soft knees so you feel yourself really rooted into your butt on the floor. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, again, point those toes. Exhale, squeeze those shoulders, inhale, back and that's the seated reverse fly. Last exercise in the second workout is a very slow mountain climber. We're gonna start in that high plank, bring those feet back, and then we'll tuck the butt under a little and ribs in just ever so slightly. And we're gonna exhale, bring that knee up without the back rounding. So go as far as you can 
without your back rounding. Inhale back and then exhale. This is a very slow motion. Exhale because we're really trying to find out where you can bring that knee without rounding your back. Keep the weight of your shoulders right over the wrist so you really feel that core working. 